Hey guys, Jaws Shark Views here, and today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee uh, Studio Series Deluxe Class B127. So, here he is as alt mode. If you're, if you're wondering, wait a minute, wasn't there a B127 release like a year ago? And yes, the answer is correct, there was. And there still is, you know, because I think some stores still have it on the shelves. I'm not sure why, because it's like year old, but hey, yeah, I still see uh, cups and blurs uh, lurking around. So, yeah, I think Hasbro restocks them, but yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways, yeah, last year yeah, Hasbro released a B127 figure, but the one thing that was kind of interesting was that figure had his bow mask on, so it's like, huh, that's kind of interesting. That's something different. So, yeah, and so it's like, okay, well, you know, like, when, when I first saw him, I'm like, all right, well, that's cool. We finally get proper looking bow mask head sculpts for Bumblebee because the other one that we got was his, like, uh, it was like an accessory with the, the first uh, Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee figure that we got, like, back in the late 2018. I think it was SS18 or something. And, yeah, um,. And there wasn't like a lot of detail or anything on it. It didn't really look accurate, considering you know it came out just as the movie did. So, yeah. But, uh, so yeah, it was just cool to have like that bow mask kind of option thing. You know, like finally, you know, it was swappable with the off-road bumblebee since it's from you know from the same mold. And yeah, so, um, but yeah, almost and then of course almost a year later, Hasbro announced or. It was leaked because I remember back in December uh, showing off these uh, images on one of my news videos, and uh, it was yeah there was like uh, leaks of three 2022 Buzzworthy Bumblebee figures, which were sort of redecos of pre pre previously released Studio Series figures. So that include Cup, uh, SSA six Cup, obviously. Uh, then Earthrise Cliff Jumper, and then now you know B127 here for Cup and Cliff Jumper. They're just you know more cartoon accurate uh, decos that they had. And then this guy, well, this guy has a bit of a different story. So he's the other one was still pretty accurate enough, um, but this one, but Hasbro decided to make a slightly different version of that one, and they decided to release it under the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line, and it is an unmasked Bumblebee, so pretty much in opposition to the previously released one, so yeah, that, that's a little history on that, I won't get too much into the details now, because uh, you probably have seen it, but just in case if you don't know why this exists, well, now you know. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, in this video, uh, since I've already taken a look at this mold twice, because, you know, uh, obviously with the other B127 and the uh, Cliff Jumper that came out even before, way before that, uh, the, I don't think I reviewed that Cliff Jumper until, or like after B127, a couple months after. So yeah, so this video won't be as much in detail. I mean, I will look at, you know, the new things. That, it'll mostly be like a comparison sort of thing. But um, yeah, it'll be, mainly be focused between this B127 and the one that we got last year. So. Anyway, starting off, why not? You look at the packaging. What's interesting is this kind of, kind you know, like gives like a sort of kind of cool combination between the you know the new way of packaging for the Transformers Generations figures that Hasbro has been doing, and the kind of old style. So the old style, it's got that big you know plastic window in the front, but for the new, instead of using like a plastic you know uh, plastic container to you know hold Bumblebee, they just use that cardboard one with the backdrop, you know, the fake one, and then. Yeah, uh, and you lift it up, and then you get the real one in there. Um, it's pretty much the same old uh, Cybertron background, but um, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, why not take a look at all the cool arts? They got Earthrise slash Kingdom RC on there. Uh, everyone's favorite RC figure, but nonetheless, that's cool artwork. And then you got Mirage there. You got Cyberverse Prime, and of course, they got that same old Bumblebee Evergreen Bumblebee that's just staring off to the side, on the back. And kind of get a little sneak peek of what it looks like, and yeah, get a little bio there if you want to read it. Go ahead and pause, and then outside you get a quite or quite wait what <laughs> a quite nice 
uh, variant of the artwork that we got in the previously released B127. So before that one had the similar artwork of him running away, you know, like what he did in the Bumblebee movie from those Sector 7 agents, or I think there was Sector 7, yeah. And, uh, you know, but that one had a mask on. This one does, does not, as you can see. So that's quite cool, and it does fit in. But yeah, you can definitely tell the rest of it is the same as before. But, yeah. And that's pretty much it. And then, you know, I was worried Bumblebee or Transformers 2 Series. And, and uh, by the way, 70 is the same number that they had for the, the one from last year for, with the mask. So, yeah, it confirms that that will not be released in the regular Studio Series. I don't think that cup will either, but the Cliff Jumper, interestingly enough, has been marked as A612. So, or I think 12, I'm not sure. Uh, it was A6 something. But, uh, anyways, oh, jeez. <laughs> anyways, uh, let's see, let's try and take a look at B127 here. Again, this won't be as much of a review, but much of a review this time, but. Anyways, yeah, this is most, mostly just kind of be like comparison and details of what you can see here. So, anyway, starting off here, finally, uh, let's take a look at the figure. So, as you can see here, they gave him more mustard yellow, similar to, you know, some different golden bug, golden bug, what? gold bug figures that uh, have been released like, you know, 10 years ago or so. They haven't done really a new gold bug other than, you know, the showered glass one, but that's not the G1 gold bug, it's more just... You know, Shire Girl has gold bug. Oh, but yeah, anyways, as, but yeah, as you can see, yeah, they gave him that nice mustard, kind of yellow, and yeah, quite dig it. And they gave him like a more blue window as well, so that's pretty nice. Because the other one, as well as Cliff Jumper, like Cliff Jumper kind of that clear kind of look, and then B127 had like this kind of dark gray slash black kind of tint to it, but this time it's blue, so I do quite like that. And yeah. That's pretty much it. You can kind of see the arms and all that in there. Full up legs and feet, and yeah. But nonetheless, not too shabby. And those look pretty nice. As we saw basically before, so yeah. Uh, of course, yeah, it does roll. And yeah, it's still got those clip on wheels, whatever, yeah. <laughs> but, you know. At least they kind of made it fit. Well, with these wheels, they did the, these not as much because you, you can see the clip in there. But, uh, yeah. But, hey, it looks pretty cool. I just realized it actually looks a lot more movie accurate than the other one, because it kind of adapts more into the Cybertron kind of look. I, or I think, like, the previously released one is more accurate in terms of, like, how it looks, but this looks more like how it did, like, in the Cybertron scene, because it has that, like, kind of dark kind of look to it. So, yeah. But anyways, for comparison, there it is with the previously released one. <laughs> I'm just gonna call this the Masked Bumblebee, and this is the Unmasked Bumblebee. Yeah, but, yeah. but they don't call it Bumblebee Unmasked or anything on this. So. Yeah, but um, yeah, here are the two are together here, and you can see the differences. It's pretty much the same thing going on here, just you know, with that more mustard yellow, as well as that more blue kind of window. So, yeah, here's what they look like from the side, and from the bottom, and yeah. Back. I noticed they kind of use like a layer gray plastic as well. So. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You know what? I like both. <laughs> both colorizations look pretty nice. So, yeah. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I got this figure, I don't know. He'll look cool. The like the head sculpt and everything. You'll see once I you know transform him. Uh, it looks really really nice. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, why not? Especially Finn with those you know. Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Wave figures that I have not seen yet for some reason. Even though, like, many others have. So, I don't know what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, hopefully I'll find them soon. But, in the meantime, I got this guy to kind of prepare. And, you know, preparing for more Autobots. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the alt mode. And, yeah, for accessories, it comes with that gun. It's pretty much the same as last time. Just uh, less metallic, kind of gray. See there, that's the old one. That's the new one. And now I won't be comparing Cliff Chamber in the uh, alt mode here because I'm too tired of transforming this mold. It ain't one of the easiest figures or molds to transform because I just realized this is like the fourth use of the mold, or I'm not sure because 
because uh, there was obviously Cliff Jumper, there was the masked B-127, there was obviously this unmasked one, and then before before all those three, or all these three here, uh, there was obviously the off-road Bumblebee, which I won't be comparing because it's kind of useless, <laughs> but you know, if you want to see more con comparisons with this mold, just take a look at my Cliff Jumper and B-127 reviews, but, uh, you know, the masked one, but... Uh, but yeah, anyways, yeah, it's like, a, this is like a heavy retool from that mold, so, yeah. But anyways, let's get right down to transformation. I won't be as much in detail, just kind of be just talking a little bit, just untap these here. Yeah, again, if you want to see more in depth, then just check out my other reviews of this mold, but, yeah, so, anyways, uh, pretty cool overall, so, yeah, let's get him all... At least now I don't have to show things as much, because again, if you've already seen the transformation, I bet you already know what it's like, but again, if you have not, you can always just check out my masked B127 review. Okay, I have so much to talk, like it's already 11 minutes now in the, into the video, but, you know, this ain't as much of a, like, a, like, a review as, like, some of my other videos, because again... We've already taken a look at this mold a couple times. Just kind of want to take a look at what's different with this. And no, I won't be getting that cup because again, like even though it does look more accurate, and I do like it more, uh, the look of it more at least. It's you know it's not that much different from the uh, from the previously released cup. But I may get the cliff chamber. May get it. Uh, but anyways, let me lower this down. One thing to note with. This remold is they did fix something sort of. Uh, I, was, I think you guys probably have already seen on here. I think I already showed it off, but show it again. Let's get this all fixed up here. So if you guys don't remember from the Cliff Jumper and you know the previously released B127 um, versions of this mold, the tabs for the uh, I just realized it's not focused here. <laughs> the tabs for the side panels of the leg or both legs actually. Those like didn't tab in very well, so they just kind of popped out and just you know just didn't stay there, just all flimsy. With this one, they seemingly made the tabs thicker, or maybe they made the inside of this there. I'm not sure, because when you tab it in, push it in. Well, now it's not pushing all the way, but um, but yeah, when I first got the figure, yeah, now now it's not staying in, but because I think I stressed out, yeah, as you can see there, stressed out. Um, but yeah, it was like it actually did stand for quite a good time, so, you know, unfortunately it did stress the plastic, which means that I probably won't get it back in there, but it does seem to hold in nice and tight, like, even, like, even the joints themselves are nice and tight, so, yeah. Anyways, what about the head? That's the only real new thing with the mold, other than, you know, layer colors, or layer gray, and more mustard yellow. Let's have that in. And yeah, and again, if you want to see the transformation, like more proper, proper, uh, in-depth transformation for the small, check out my B127 review from I think about almost a year ago now. Man, time flies. But um, yeah, yeah I think I'm not sure if I did in-depth for the Cliff Jumper review because I did one now uh, after the B127 one, which is kind of ironic because that one came out first, but. Yeah, so anyways, once you got that all configured, there you guys have B-127 in his robot mode. And, um, you know, it actually looks really, really nice if you take a look at it all around, except for the back, obviously. Um, yeah, from the front, it really looks pretty nice, and it's like, this may actually be my favorite version of the mold, well, other than, you know, the off-road Bumblebee, but I'm talking about, like, this particular version of, you know, the mold, like, because, you know, there's the off-road Bumblebee, and then they redid that into this, so for the three figures that they've made, this that may actually be my favorite one, so, but anyways, let's take a look at the head sculpt, and yeah, it's, like, really, really nice, like, I'd say, like, I mean, I did like how the off-road one, like, had, you know, the more silver paint, this, I'm not sure, it looks a little more accurate, I don't know, <laughs> but it, it fits in more, and the sculpting is really, really nice. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure if this is, like, the same as that off-road Bumblebee, but either way, it looks very, very good. 
And, um, yeah, they obviously didn't add any silver detailing in there. But, oh, well. And, of course, they got the same details over here. But they look really, really nice. So that's kind of, like, why I kind of got this figure. Because, like, it, it, it popped out, like, probably the most. Even more so than Cliff Jumper and that other B-127. So, yeah, but very, very nice. And, yeah, articulation remains the same. You know, the head looks up. And, you know, it can look side to side. Our moves out that far, and yeah, that's kind of blocking that. Our moves out that far, and then there's bicep swivel. Or it's more around here. The elbows do bend very far, and um, waist does swivel. Legs kick up this far, back that far, not very far, unfortunately, because of that backpack. And they move out that far, and then the knees do bend, and you know the feet. Or on the ball joints, so they can move around. So yeah, you know it's it's pretty much the same as what we got before, but still very very impressive. So yeah, and of course for accessories, you know it comes with that same old Gatling gun they came with before, just you know not as metallic as the other B one twenty seven. At least it's you know painted on like you know the first version of that. Little gun, which came with the off-road bumblebee, that was just plain out, uh, it's no paint plastic. It's like, huh? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, focus. Unfortunately, this camera doesn't focus automatically. I don't know why, but <laughs> anyways. So, yeah. Overall, very, very nice looking. So, yeah, but anyways, now for comparison. Here he is with the previously released Bumblebee, the B127. I can definitely tell what's paint and what's plastic on that because you can see that's plastic and that's paint. So it kind of gives a slightly, you know, kind of different colorization for the yellow, but it doesn't look too bad. Like in person, it looks better than what it does on camera here, but unless. But um, yeah, so let's just take a nice look between the two. And yeah, um, you know, it, it's kind of up to you which, you know, which one you want. Like, if you want to use, like, for, let's say, stop motion, like, you want to have the bow mask or something, like, you want something more consistent, then I guess I go with this one, and then, but if you want to have, you know, his regular face, then get, you know, the off-road bumblebee, and then, you know, kind of swap the heads around. So I could always do that, but if you just want, like, a, like, totally nice looking, you know, unmasked, B-127, but with this, you know, nice mustard yellow and brighter gray, then, as you know, I'd suggest going with this one here, but, you know, I'm, I'm probably, you know, I'm probably going to keep both because, you know, I do like having, you know, both of these, you know, both versions here. Um, yeah, they're, they're both good in their own way. I'm not really going to prefer one over the other, although uh, I do like the detail more on this head sculpt than this head sculpt. I, I, I can understand it's just a battle mask, but still. Uh, I do like the blue for the windows as well. It gives things a little more vibrant than, you know, a kind of dark gray in there. It's, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. But, yeah, and I, but I do prefer the metallic that they use for the Gatling, you know, Gatling gun on the sky compared to this one. But they both still look really, really nice together. And, again, I could always just swap, you know, the two Gatling guns. So, yep. Yeah. But again, which one you get is most up to you. You could get one, you know, you could get the other, or you could just get both. But yeah. And here he is with Cliff Jumper there. Let's see how they look, and why not? We'll just bring in for just one big out of shot, even though it's only three members so far. Here we got good old Optimus Prime here. I like I always to say good old Optimus Prime, but yeah. Anyways, just a little preview of the Bumblebee movie shot here. It's, you know, the Autobot shot at least. Uh, Cybertron, of course. But yeah, you can see it's just, you know, three members so far. Yeah, but don't worry. Once I find the the other few of them that they got, uh, then of course I'll definitely get them. Because, you know, I want Wheeljack, I want Ratchet, and I want Braun. And of course, when whenever uh, RC and Iron Ironhide come out, definitely want to get them as well. 
So you have a nice bumbly movie about action going on. So there you have that. And there you guys have my review for the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Studio Series Deluxe Class B127, the unmasked one, of course. And yeah, I gotta say, this is you know, a nice retool. Uh, you know, it does a little bit more you know, to that figure. It gives, you know, collectors a nice option if they want to see Bumblebee's face, then, you know, you get this one. If they don't want to see his face, then you get the other one, you yeah. Or you can just get both, like I said before. Um, it's up to you, really, and, yeah. And I do apologize if this wasn't, you know, a normal video. In fact, it's like 20 minutes, jeez. <laughs> and all this is mainly a comparison video, but probably that's probably because, you know, things were not as organized this time, which, again, I do apologize for, but... Again, I've already taken a look at this mold two times, and technically three actually, because with the offer of Bumblebee, but you know, that was like a lot different than what we got with Cliff Jumper and B127, both versions, of course. So, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, is it really worth, you know, just going through things like a normal review when, you know, basically we're already reviewed this guy twice, so, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, but uh, I just kind of want to take a look at, you know, what they changed, and if you guys, you know, want to, you know, get the figure, or, like, this remold, if it's worth it, if, you know, you're, you know, you're willing to spend, you know, another twenty two ninety nine or how much it costs, then, you know, I guess good, I don't know, uh, if you miss out on the other one, then, yeah, definitely get this guy, um, but yeah, I just like how, like, it looks really neat and finished, like, this is, like, the premium finish, uh, B127 that we don't have from Takara, but, you know, they'll probably make, like, a slightly nicer one, but, or maybe this is, like, a preview of that. Maybe Hasbro's charging, like, way less for a premium finished figure that, you know, isn't out yet. We'll see. We'll see. Time will come. But, yeah, you know, uh, I found lots. Uh, just nice, solid, you know, remold, retool, whatever. This guy's been, like, the, the small's been, like, like, being, like, a horse. <laughs> like, because, you know, it's just been used too much. So, yeah, I don't know really what, what else to say. But, um, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, neat, neat retool, I guess. So. Yeah, but anyways, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share for more. And comment down below which version of the small do you prefer. So, anyways, guys, as always, till all are one.